Hi, this is Keith. Uh, I was asked to do a video to create an assignment. Click Create Assignment. And we're just going to put CER. And I can put some instructions, whatever. So when you get to your uh, Google Classroom, click over in the Classworks tab to create an assignment. I'm just going to put CER. Uh, you can put instructions thing and I'm just going to go to my Google Drive should be in the recents there it is and it what I want to do here is I want to make it a copy for each student I can change the point value I usually make my assignments worth five points I can put a due date say end of the week and I can put a topic. I think topics are really valuable for organizing your Google Classroom. And we can assign that. What the students will see when they click on classwork is under my topic week eight, they're gonna see the CER. And when they click on this, they will, and notice it says Keith M dash. It puts the student name attached uh, to the file name because every student gets their own copy. So the question would already be there. You would just double click and you would type, you know, whatever. They would just type on it in each, each box, right? And then when they're done with that, it automatically saves. They go back, they view assignment. It's been attached in their work. It says your work, this is from the student perspective. Your work, uh, it's been attached. They can turn it in. They can also make uh, private comments to you telling you how they did something or why they did something. Or I've had students submit all kinds of things, why it was late, blah, blah, blah. When it comes to grading, you're going to go through, click on it, and it'll say one turned in. So I click on that. It says that Keith M has turned it in. I could, if this is a credit, no credit situation, uh, you can just grade from here and just put in a grade. If you need to see it, you open it and you can actually see their, the one that they typed on, their individual one, and it tells you what student that was. Again, you can, any private comments that the student sent you will be here and you can reply to those private comments from here i can look at it and i can enter a grade right if this was sent to me with just this on it i would obviously not give it a grade i wouldn't give it a zero necessarily i would just simply return it uh, it's the same as just handing the piece of paper back to the student in real life this is not complete finish it and then I would probably put a private comment on here addressing it. If you're doing multiple, uh, like a whole class worth of grading, you don't need to return each one individually. It takes a lot more time. You can grade all of them. And then here, it's return multiple submissions, and it'll return them all at the same time, which I find is just a time saver. But let's just do this. And return it. This is the problem with returning each one individually is this window comes up and you have to verify that you want it returned, where if you're doing multiples at a time, everything comes up. That's how you grade with a, a Google Classroom, uh, inside Google Classroom. That's really it. So if you have any questions, uh, as always, email me. Thanks.